Here we are running the crazy lights that we finally got hooked up in the tray of the ceiling as the sunroom is getting finished. Ready? What are you doing? You're talking to yourself? Yeah. They look pretty cool. Kind of gave me the exact effect I was looking for. And they have like 133 functions with a remote. There's the controller up there and the center there. And all you have to do is hit the button and they'll go through umpteen different functions. Ryan, would you please stop jumping? Here's some of the functions. That's a chasing one to the end. And then more come down until it fills it all in. Here's one with a glow. And then the red chases it in. And you can pause these at any place during the thing, during the program. And this one basically goes through every function that it does. Ryan. And you can see it's got lots of colors. It'll do fades. Like I said, if you want to pause it, on any one of them. You can pause it like this and then let it go back again. Fades are probably the coolest.
pretty easy to hook up. You just plug them into the wall. Got a little 12 volt power supply that powers the, the module box and then the module box has all the functions in it. Strips were a little longer than this tray so we shortened them up a little bit. Made them meet exactly in the middle on the other side over there. And they start off from the center of the box on this side. So it was pretty easy to do. You can just shorten the strips up by the module and turn off the ones that you don't want on at the very end so they meet exactly up. But uh, pretty cool setup, I think. This was about uh, 250 bucks for the LEDs and uh, about 70 bucks in double-sided tape to hold them to the back side of the cove molding. Ryan, don't worry. But here it is, so you can look. There's about, it's probably only halfway through all the different functions it'll do. But it gives you a good idea of what they look like. I think they're pretty cool.